guys and welcome to Program Arts. In this episode, I will talk about the index types, operators in TypeScript. So what is an index type? Index type is a type which you can use as an index, meaning you can access its values by, an, so, by some kind of indexed system. For example, interfaces and classes, they are indexed by their property names, and you have types such as map, uh, which are indexed by either a string or a num. In this episode, I will talk about two operators, which are key of and an accessor operator for types. So let's start by creating uh, an index type, which will be an interface. Interface cat. And our cat will have a name, string, and an age, which, which will be a number. Okay, so the cat type here is an index type which we can access with the property name and the property age. Uh, so now what can we do? We can use the key of, okay, the key of operator in order to, to find all the keys with which we can access the index type. So what do I mean by that? Uh, I will create a type cat key and it will be a key of cat. Now, what cat key is actually? It is a union of all the property names of the index type. In this case, it is a union of a name and an age. And once I put my mouse over the cat key, I can see it is a union of a name and an age. Now let's add a more complex type a function, which will be a feed function, which receives a food and returns uh, some kind of sound the cat makes when it is fed. So now cat key is updated and it has the name, the age and the feed property names. So the key of is quite simple. Uh, the next operator that I will show you is an access operator uh, and it looks something like T of K, where T is a type and K is a, a property name. You can think of it a pro as a property name. Uh, it can be actually any one of the key of the type. Let me show you an example and you'll understand. So if I, for example, uh, want to know what is the type of the age property, I can access the cat at location age, at position age, meaning I'm looking at the, pro at the index type cat and accessing the index at the property age and looking at the type. Okay, so age type should be a number and is, it is actually a number. And if I look at some complex uh, feed type, which will be a feed, I will see that the type feed type is actually a type of a function that accepts a string and returns a string. Now, what happens when I put some uh, unexisting uh, property name, such as, I don't know, feed me? Now it yells at me and tells me that the property feed me does not exist on a type cat. So the compiler actually really helps us with the use of the access operator on the type, type indexes. Now let's look of how we can combine both the key of and the access operator uh, together and create some cool stuff. So for example, uh, if I have a function get property value, okay, and it accepts t and a k. In a second, I will write what are those. And t is the type of the object, and the k will be the property name, okay, the name of a property that is that exists on the object uh, T and what are those, uh, what, are the, what are the possibilities of this? All the property names of the object T are the key of T. So K should extend key of T, okay? So now K can only be one of the property names of the object T. Uh, and what I will return, I will return the value, 
okay, the value uh, of that property. And what is the type of that value? It is exactly the T of K. Okay, so for example, if the property name for a cat is name, is age, so that cat, the T will be cat, and K will be the age, and cat at age will be a number. Okay, so the implementation is quite simple. It will be actually object at property name. That's it. And for example, if we have a cat, I don't really care to initialize it. So uh, cat age will be get property value of a cat and an age. So cat age will be a number, okay? And if I do the same for const uh, cat name get property value cat name okay so cat name will be a string but if i do it the same thing for cat sound accessing the sound property it yells, yells at me and says that sound is not part of a type age feed name and where did it take it from it took it from uh, the, the union, the key of cat, all the properties the cat has. So for example, if I add a sound property, now it is okay and it says that cat sound is a string. Another example, uh, which is a little bit more complex but not so much, is actually the same thing. I want to be able to get properties, get all the properties, and it will be the same k extends k of t and I will have an object t and the names of the properties will be an array of k and I will return for each uh, name I will return a value so this is why the t of k will be an array of t of k's and what I will return, it will be names.map and for each name I will return the object at location name. Okay, so I will get all the values of the, uh, of the properties I passed. So for, exam for example, if I have uh, cat age and name, okay, so get properties of the cat and the property names will be age and name age and name sorry yeah so the cat age and name will be an array of either a string or a number because age is a number and name is a string so compiler is actually helping us and if i switch then age with a fit so it will be either a string or a function of string to string okay let's return it to be more simple so it will be either age or name. Okay, and if I put something that doesn't exist, like h2, it yells at me that uh, h2 is not part of age, feed, name, or sound. Okay, so compiler really helps us combining the key of and the access operator. You have watched an episode about index types operators in TypeScript. Let me know what you think about it by leaving a comment in the comment section down below. You can watch more TypeScript videos by clicking over here, or you can trust YouTube to know what you really want to see and click over here. If you want to see more programming videos, check out my channel and feel free to subscribe. See you later on Program Artist.